Hey guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live, powered by Sillies.com, and this is the figure review of the Avengers Age of Ultron Hulk figure from the Build-A-Figure Thanos series, and yes, look at this guy. I uh, I was really expecting them to cheat more with this figure from the, uh, the other Avengers Hulk figure that we got, uh, and we didn't. I was actually pleasantly surprised, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box he comes in. So we got the Age of Ultron, build a figure Thanos, Age of Ultron, Hulk, Avengers Initiative right there. And he's a big figure. You got some artwork on the side, same artwork on there. And uh, you look at the figure here, and there's bio. And I pretty much have everybody except for Hellcat, because I just don't care. Honestly, it's Hellcat. Who gives a crap? Uh, and plus, she doesn't even come with a piece. So sorry, that was a way not for me to buy that figure. I might get her later, maybe. But anyway, this is Hulk, and he looks really, really good. Uh, not a real reuse of parts on this guy. Like, Let's go ahead and take a look. Because I was expecting pretty much just a copy of the one we got from the first Avengers series, and we didn't. Look at that head sculpt. You got some angry, angry Hulk face right there. I love the, the color on the hair. Now, you will notice on camera, though, these greens are off. Um... On camera, it looks that way. I took a picture of them and put them on Instagram, and people were saying, like, the color was off from the arms. And it's a little harder to see with the naked eye, but it's really, it really picks up on camera. So, yeah, but he's got these uh, nice textured pants. Nice little Avengers logo on there. Got the stripe there. Got this tech detail, and we'll see that with the Mr. Green figure that they're coming out with as well. But yeah, it goes all the way down. No tattering on the pants because he's nice and tidy. These feet are um, a reuse of the original mold. So while we, uh, you know, I've talked about it, here is the original Avengers Hulk figure. And this guy had a lot more bulk to him. Um, so I kind of, I kind of like this screen. He's a little bit bigger. As you can see, the head sculpts are different. The arms all the way down to the forearms, you'll find they are the same, but the hands are different. The torso pieces are different. The only thing, other thing is the same is uh, the calves. They're the same and the feet. But yeah, everything else is uh, entirely new molding. Not too bad. I like the size on this guy, but I mean, it's he's got a little bit more height. I think he should have been a little bit more beefy, but I, I like the torso cut here better. I like this one, too. But, yeah. Uh, another comparison. Here he is with the... Uh, let's go ahead and compare him to Star-Lord here. So you get an idea of a normal Marvel Legends size figure and this guy here. So, yeah, not bad considering that they don't charge extra for these uh, bigger pieces, or uh, bigger figures like this. So, that's awesome. Uh... Articulation wise, you got that peg inside the foot. We'll rotate here, double jointed knees. Got a twist at the thigh, a universal joint here at the hip. No waist articulation, but it does have uh, this diaphragm joint here, which goes, you know, different directions here. Got a kind of a soft ratchet joint up here in the shoulder. The arms will go up on that hinge there. Twist at the bicep, double jointed arms which you, you can't really make use of this one because, I mean, it's either one side or the other. You can kind of push this up and then put that up. So now you've got him flexing. So it's not too much, but it's better than a single joint. So won't complain there. And he does have the uh, tilt on the wrist joint, and it will rotate. And the head is on a slight ball joint. It looks like it is, yeah, it's just a ball joint. You can pop this right off. It's so no hinge in there, just the ball joint. So it's not it does click in very nice, but that's about as far as you're going to get out of it. He will go full 360 degrees. So overall, yeah, it's a nice update. I um, I like the scale on the guy. He fits in well with the other figures, but there is some there are some shortcuts here, especially with the off colors on the plastic. But he looks a little more dynamic than the other Hulk did. Um, I still like the other one, but I like this one too. I wouldn't say there's anything I like less or more about this guy. But I am glad we got one with the updated pants, you know, because they are purple. You gotta like the purple pants. 
So, yeah, especially after seeing the movie, and he's such a rocking character in there. But anyway, guys, that's been my review of the Avengers Thanos Build-A-Figure Wave Hulk. Uh, there's going to be some more reviews coming soon, so make sure you keep it here. On SCNS Live, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video, and we will catch you later.